Hey guys, Bad Infos here and this is GTA Vice City Stories. In this video I'll show you all hidden red balloon locations in the game, including all the areas surrounding them and we'll pinpoint the spot on the map so we get a better understanding where each one is located. It is not possible to collect them all at the beginning of the game because they'll not show up. After passing the first mission, however, they can be all yours. Yes, even the ones in the locked off areas of the map. In GTA VCS we have 99 red balloons total, 45 of them are in the first island called the mainland, 2 are in Starfish Island, 4 on Prawn Island and 48 on the second island called Vice City Beach. The way to collect a balloon is to shoot it. Popping it will display a message and with every 10 collected once you get a reward. You can also visit your map and turn the balloon icons on. This way you can see which ones you have already shot. Any weapon will do the job. And my recommendations are the M4 and the sniper. An M4 could easily be gotten from your friends at the military base. For a sniper you need to head to this location and steal the BMX. Travel to Diaz's mansion where you can see this wall. Hug this wall and travel across the bridge. Once you have arrived, climb this roof where you can find a sniper and a helicopter. Use the helicopter for your balloon hunt. With all this said, let's begin. Okay, so this is how this hunt is gonna go. I'm gonna start zoomed in like this, shoot the balloon like so, zoom out and then show you the surroundings where I currently am. You can see the map on the left for a specific location. So with this you should not be confused where each one is located. The first one I just shot is right next to the Hyman Memorial Stadium. For some other balloons I'm gonna use a different weapon so I don't have to zoom out. I'm just gonna shoot it and show you the surroundings. This one is on top of this tree and I'm currently on a roof. And this is why I told you to get a helicopter because you can just land on roofs. Just go to this satellite dish like this, shoot the balloon and as you can see no police officers are gonna pass through you. If you're on the street however, they can bust you. This balloon is a doozy because it cannot be gotten from every single roof. So shoot it from here as you can see I popped it, however if you shoot it from over here it's not gonna work, also from the ground it's not gonna work, even from this roof as well. So come right over here at this specific one and shoot it from here with a sniper. We have a few palm trees here, on the left one we have a balloon as well. We also have an empire location nearby. We have a package here in GTA Vice City, however in Vice City Stories we have a balloon as this weird shape, statue. There is a billboard for watches over here, underneath the billboard you can find the balloon and of course this one could be gotten from the ground as well. I'm currently on the bridge leading to Prawn Island, currently there's no cars because I have not unlocked this place yet, so I can shoot it from the ground with no police attention. This balloon is best gotten from the ground since this street is currently not usable. Right next to the hospital on a palm tree you can find the next balloon and after 10 balloons a pistol is gonna spawn at your safe houses. Pretty close to the ocean we can find this balloon stuck on a building. I'm currently on the roof and there's a bunch of trees around me. On the building right next to the previous one we can find another balloon. For this one a helicopter or a plane is mandatory because this one is very high up in the sky if you remember the Mission G Spotlight from GTA Vice City. This is the same exact location and it cannot be gotten from the ground. You need to shoot this one from a distance because there's a small ledge underneath it and if you're too close you're gonna hit the ledge. This is also where the firecopter mission spawns. I'm currently on the King's Nuts building, which is a fast food place. We can also find a rampage on the same building, so from here aim at the closest palm tree and you can hit your balloon. On the bike shop building we can also find a billboard, attached to it of course, and right underneath it is the next balloon. From the same exact location, the same exact roof, we can spot the next balloon across the street and as you can see yes this is the billboard for the previous balloon. We have a stun jump here, a rampage and also a balloon inside of these. Here we go. 
This balloon can only be gotten from the ground because it's underneath a big ledge and I use the pistol. As you can see it's right next to this green building and the grey fence. And yet again a balloon on top of a palm tree which can be gotten from the street. Shoot it and after 20 balloons a scorpion is gonna spawn at your safe houses. I'm currently at a future safe house of mine. We have a big hangar where a pesky balloon is hiding. As this billboard says, relax, aim, shoot, and you have 22 balloons. This is a dangerous balloon because you have to do it from the ground. Just look for this blue sign with the car in front, shoot it and run like hell. In a closed off area where a very cool mission in GTA Vice City happens, we can find this one underneath the ledge. I'm currently at the scrapyard, we can find a very pesky and very hidden balloon underneath this green thing. Again we have a billboard here and you can even shoot this balloon from the ground. On this bridge we have a body armor pickup and also a spawn location for a balloon. You can use a boat if you want to or just shoot it from the ground. This is the closest balloon to the ground in the whole game, you can even touch it if you want to, however I'm just gonna pop it. Again a pretty dangerous balloon because it's very close to the ground, so shoot it and run, save yourself. We have a barber shop over here, right above the sign we can find the balloon and of course after 30 balloons we get a stubby shotgun at our safe houses. We have a palm tree balloon over here, it's pretty well camouflaged, but it's no match for Vic. Good job Vic, let's move on. This balloon can also be gotten from the ground, but don't worry, there's nobody around so nobody's gonna see you shooting it. We have a redwood cigarette billboard, I guess, and on it we can find the next balloon. I'm currently on the police station, here we can find the balloon and also a rampage too, here it is. Once again, on the roof, this green one, we can find the next balloon, it's right next to the bridge leading to the other island. We have a business nearby and a bunch of palm trees. As you see the palm trees are so 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 many, just look for the orange building over here and the first tree next to it has the balloon. The next one is on a ship, if you have a helicopter land on the ship and shoot it with an M4 or if you don't, go on the ground and shoot it with a sniper. In the industrial area of town we can find many 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 cranes. A very pesky balloon can be found at this locked off area of the map. We have a bunch of trailers, a bunch of containers. And we're finally moving on to the airport balloons. We have three over here, the first one is underneath this ledge and of course after 40 balloons molotovs are gonna spawn at your safe house. We have two ramps over here, on the taller one we can find the next balloon. This is most likely the worst balloon in the whole game, because you gotta do it from the ground, you have to shoot it from a distance because you cannot enter this place without losing your weapons. So shoot it from very far away, oh look at that, I didn't get a wanted level, how <laughs> weird. Pretty close to the military base and the airport we can find this balloon suspended above ground and here is the military base. At the military base itself we can find this balloon which we can get from the street. And congratulations guys this is the last balloon on this island so shoot it and you're completely done with the mainland. We can now move on to the other islands and let's start with Starfish Island. And welcome to Starfish Island! I'm currently at DS's mansion, on the side of it we can find Red Balloon 46. And the last one on Starfish Island is at this orange house, which has a pool behind it and a bunch of palm trees. Let's move on to Prawn Island! And welcome to Prawn Island, here we have four. The first one is on this roof, you can see the Rockstar building in the distance. In the film studio we can find this water tower which contains a balloon. We have a bunch of mansions in Prawn Island, search for the green one, go behind it and shoot the balloon. After 50 balloons an AK is gonna spawn at your safe houses. And the last balloon on Prawn Island is very close to the ground. So shoot it and you're done with Prawn Island.
And welcome to Vice City Beach. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way to the bottom. We have one here on this building, which you have to take from the street. Pretty close by we have yet another balloon on a hotel and also a spawn location for an M4. The next two balloons are inside the mall, I suggest getting inside from the entrance with the hard pickup. Start from here, enter it and take a right. Stand right over here and aim this way. Up here is the next balloon. For the second one look for the closed off shop, right in front of it, with the palm tree you can find the next one. This one is very close to the ground, you can even touch it if you want to, right next to the bridge you can pop it. A pretty pesky and hidden balloon is located at this hotel, you just have to climb a few stairs. The next one could be gotten from the ground, however it's much safer on a roof. There's a swimming pool over here with a weapon pickup, the pool looks great and the balloon as well. We have a very easy and quick mission here in the golf course on this location and also a balloon. After 60 balloons body armor is gonna spawn at your safe houses. This is a house slash mansion you can purchase in GTA Vice City, however here you cannot and the house still looks great. Once again we have a beautiful house slash mansion, a beautiful bar and a beautiful balloon as well I guess. Pretty close to the beach, very high up in the sky, on this roof is the next balloon. Once again this is a balloon you can actually touch as this place which supposedly in the beta had some missions. In this closed off area on this tree we can find balloon 65. I suggest landing on pay and spray and spray ink the balloon from here. This is a house you can purchase in GTA Vice City. On the golf course underneath this bridge you can find yet another balloon. You can shoot it from a boat by parking it underneath but I suggest taking your sniper or the M4 from the ground and shooting it from there. This one is pretty well hidden but it's no match for me. You gotta get it from a roof, you can do it from the left or the right one. On a building right next to a few trees you can find balloon haha <laughs> 69. At a few basketball courts on this roof you can find balloon 70 and of course after 70 balloons a flamethrower is gonna spawn at your safe houses. For this one I suggest using a sniper, however I'm gonna use the M4 because it also does the job. Look for this huge hotel and you can find it. Right next to a water tower and a few trees we can find this balloon and here is the water tower. Over here right next to the biggest hotel in the game we can find the next one. This one could be a little difficult to spot at first, but just look for a chunder wheel, sign and on it, on the W you can find the next one. Still at the carnival you can find these two green dumpsters and right next to them is the balloon. Pretty close to the carnival where you can find an armor pickup, you can also find the balloon and here is the armor. And here we finally have a sniper balloon. It's very high up in the sky so you cannot get it with a different weapon so take your sniper and pop it. Underneath this bridge we can find a balloon and also a smiley face. We are only interested in the balloon however so we popped it. This is the spawn location for the sniper and for the helicopter I have been using throughout this video. On the same roof you can find this tree which also has a balloon. You are safe from popping this one from the ground because it's pretty well secluded, nobody's gonna see you. After 80 an equalizer is gonna spawn at your safe houses. This one however is extremely dangerous because this is a very populated place with lots of police officers so you could get into trouble popping this one. Pretty close by on the building right next to the previous one we can find 82 and once again no police attention woo. This one could be a little difficult to find, just look for the green fence and also the penis shaped pool. Good luck! We have a balloon underneath an air conditioner, pretty close by to one of your businesses. Another very pesky and dangerous balloon is located underneath this ledge. Woo, no police! We have a stunt double billboard and underneath it is the next balloon. At the beautiful marina we can also find a balloon. Pretty close to the ground, you can even touch it if you jump to it, is the next balloon. 
park your heli on the street, go towards this greenhouse or apartment complex, I guess, and pop the balloon. At this abandoned and exploded place, we can find a rampage and also a balloon. After 90 balloons, you can get a sniper at all your safe houses. At Tommy Versailles Hotel in GTA Vice City, we can find a balloon. Pretty high up in the sky, just be careful from cops. Right next to the huge parking lot, you can find this balloon. Just look for this sign and you should be okay. Look for a huge green hotel or apartment complex, and above ground, you can get this one. Yet again, a red balloon on a green hotel, pop it and go. This time, however, we have an orange hotel. It's pretty easy to spot, just look for it, and on it is the next balloon. We have a helipad and a fountain pretty nearby. Over here on this little house, we can get the next balloon. Again, a pretty dangerous balloon because it's close to the ground, which means that police officers could see you. Here we can find a parking garage, which has no door, and also a balloon. And guys, the last balloon in the entire game is located at the lighthouse. Let's pop it and after 99 balloons, an M249 is gonna be at all your safe houses. Hunt complete. Let me give you a closer look at your rewards. And after collecting all 99 balloons, you get the following rewards. A pistol, scorpion, stubby shotgun, molotov cocktails, AK-47, body armor, flamethrower, equalizer, a sniper rifle, and finally an M249. Unfortunately, in order to get all of these, you have to pass the mission Conduct Unbecoming. If you haven't passed it yet, at your Fort Baxter safe house you can access only 6 of these rewards. So pass that mission and get them all. So guys, this was it for this video, I hope I helped you out. If you have any trouble finding any other collectible, I have made ultimate guides on every single GTA game so far, so go check them out. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters. Vladas, Austin Beta, House the Childer, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you so much much for the support.